flooding in Venezuela killed at least 36 leaf towns covered in mud. Flooding and mudslide have killed at least 36 people in a Venezuelan industrial town, authorities said Monday, as rescue teams searched through sludge and debris for frozen of people, reports missing. Eight group warned that the death toll could rise further amid rescue effort in the north centrals of towns of Las Terrias, where mud cover whole neighborhoods during torrential rain over the weekend. Interior Ministry Ramigo Calabalos said at least 56 people have been reported missing in the town and surrounding region. Government videos and social media posts from residents show rescue workers and soldiers using bulldozers to remove uprooted trees and thick sludge that had covered roads and homes Saturday nights. About 1,000 homes were either destroyed or damaged, authorities said, displacing thousands of people, many of whom were moved to shelters. About 3,000 servicemen had been deployed for search operation. Mr. Sabalo said, It's a very shocking, you only see mud everywhere, said Evelyn Pinto, a businesswoman in Caracas who lived much of her life in Las Terrasas and on Sunday was surviving damage around her home with her parents. Mr. Pinto described watching firefighters pull two bodies from the rising water of the Tui River that runs behind her house. She said many neighbors were still looking for loved ones. It's a small town, it's painful for all of us because we've all known each other our whole lives, she said. The central food market was destroyed and dozens of business in town were wiped out, along with large storage facilities for food harvested from nearby farmland. And Catholic's aid organization, Caritas Venezuela, said in a report, local face shortage of food, water, while nearby health clinics are low on basic medical equipment. The aid group said power and phone lines were knocked out for much of the town during the storm. President Nicolas Manduro visited Las Terrasias on Monday after declaring three days of national mourning for victims of flood. Some residents said the flooding was exacerbated after a dike in a hillside neighborhood called El Beso was overwhelmed. Venezuela's information ministry didn't immediately respond to a request for comment. Governments official blamed the tragedy on climate change with state television airing old video clips for Mr. Marudo, his predecessor Hugo Chavez and Cuba's Fidel Castro, tying capitalism and U.S. policies to the phenomenon. That's all for today. Thank you and goodbye.